Hello everyone and welcome back to another Unreal Engine tutorial. In this tutorial I will teach you how to make a floating object like this. Ok, let's get started. Come over to this plus over here and let's add shapes of cube. And when you press end key, it's going to snap on the ground. Now on the right side of the panel, go to add and type interp. So we have interp to movement. When you select this, we're going to see some options over here. So duration means how long it will take to go from point A to point B. Now we need to add control points. Click on the plus sign, so 1, 2, index 0 is the starting point, wherever this actor is, and the index 1 is going to be the final destination. So if you put here on the X, 500 units, and if you scroll over here, we have behavior type of one shot. So if I click here, simulate. Now when I exit the game, we're going to see error. Now this error means that static meshes needs to be movable. Now let's exit. So when you select this static mesh, if you go on the right side here, we have mobility, static, stationary and movable. We have to select movable. Now when I click simulate, now it's working properly. So this is one shot. I'm going to exit, select the interp movement. Let's put 0, 0 to X and Y. And on the Z, let's put 200 for example. And let's scroll over here. If you go ping pong, now it's going to be up and down. Now let's add something else. Select the cube and let's go add and type rotating. So rotating movement. If you select this, so this 180 on the Z means how fast to rotate and on which axis. So if you put 300 here and if I go simulate, I'm going to put lower number, maybe 200. And if I simulate, now if you want to make this as a blueprint, you can go over here. So you can give it a name. So floating object. Go on the folder here and put it wherever you want. So I'm going to put it in the main. So this is the name and you can go select. And you can add in the event graph whatever you like. Okay, this is just a basic way how to make movable object or floating object. We are going to expand this tutorial in the following lessons. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.